Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm taking a look at the Washington football team and more specifically going over whether or not they should look into trading for quarterback Deshaun Watson. But before getting the topic, question for those of you viewing, what is your ideal trade scenario for Deshaun Watson? Is it three first round picks, four first round picks, two first round picks, whatever it is, comment down below and you'll kind of hear my answer throughout. Getting straight into it though, making it clear, I'm very aware Washington is happy with their squad right now. They're very content with Fitzpatrick. They're very content with their defense. They really don't want to change everything. They just really want to enter this year hoping for the best and just seeing where they stand and worrying about making possibly a big move in the following offseason. This year, they're hoping for the best but are being realistic in the sense like we understand we may be held by a quarterback, but we're still going to stick with it for now. And who doesn't love Fitzmagic? Fitzmagic? Who doesn't root for him? And we know Ron Rivera does not make big moves. And Deshaun Watson is a franchise altering piece out it's not just going to cost us some first and fits it's going to cost some stars also because deshaun watson and the texans while this may seem like a redundant topic the texans bringing up today or yesterday whichever one it was that they are officially willing to trade deshaun before they were very persistent on saying we are not trading them deshaun's our guy deshaun's our guy deshaun's our guy today or yesterday whichever one it was like i said they have announced we're willing to trade the cap that changes things, and they said, though, we're looking for right around five high draft picks and starting caliber players. That doesn't sound cheap. Washington, you could trade every first round pick up to 2040, but I just don't know if they want to give up any players. Personally, if I was Washington, and theoretically, if I were to entertain the idea, not saying they need to do it or I would do it, but theoretically, if I were them and I would entertain the idea, what I would be willing to offer for Deshaun I have to remember, this is a top five quarterback who's entering his prime. Is We haven't seen a player like this be traded before. Fitz, I'd probably throw in there. That's a QB. Texas could do whatever with. Or Taylor Heineke, whichever one they want. I'm willing to give away any quarterback on the depth chart we're talking about. Deshaun here, as much as I like Fitz and what he brings to the team for experience and wisdom and fan experience. He could sell some tickets. If I get Deshaun, I'll throw him in there. So I'll throw in whichever QB they want. Fitz or Taylor Heineke, both if they want it. I personally don't want to part with anyone on offense. I don't think they need a running back in Antonio Gibson. They got Mark Ingram and Phillip Lindsay and David Johnson. They got plenty of running backs. Receivers, I don't want to part with Scary Terry. We just brought in Curtis Samuel. Deami Brown's just a rookie. It's very rare a rookie gets traded. Offensive line, you don't want to touch it because then you're kind of, you know, hurting Deshaun once he gets here. He now has less protection. And the defense, it's a question, you know. If you trade away a big ticket name like a Jonathan Allen, like a Deron Payne, again, you don't want to, but you have to consider, you know, if we trade away, theoretically, Josh, jo Jonathan Allen, excuse me, we may fall from a top three defense to top six. You know, that's not my exact rankings for Washington, but that's just off the top of my head. Theoretically, we might fall two or three spots when we lose that big of a starter on our defensive line. But if we get Deshaun Watson, then all of a sudden our offense goes from top 20 to top 10. So at some point in there's a balancing act, and it's going to be worth it, if that makes sense. So personally, I would throw in the QB. I assume three first-round picks. That's just where I'm starting. And a defensive starter. I don't want to give up Chase Young or Montez Sweat, my edge rushers. They're still on the beginning of their rookie contracts. Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne. I don't want to move off of one of them, let alone both of them. But they're going to be due for a big payday either way. Make that a Texans problem. I think you can live without them since you got... Deshaun Watson on the other side of the football to make up for it. You know, I don't want to give up rookie Jamin Davis. Again, not many rookies are traded. The secondary, you need to keep it intact. You know, as much as I like the starting guys, Cameron Curl, Bobby McCain, William Jackson, Kendall Fuller, Landon Collins, after those five starters, there's a big, big teardrop after. You know, you couldn't even argue that Bobby McCain's not a starter, but still, I don't really want to part with anyone in the secondary. One of the guys I would be okay with parting with is one of the interior linemen again i'm not wanting to but if i had to pick someone on defense that has high value that the texans are willing to say at least we got blank at the end of the day it would be one of the interior defensive linemen they're just not giving away montez sweat who's on the come up not giving away chase young who everyone swears is going to eventually win defensive player of the year he's already won defensive rookie of the year personally you're going to have to give up a qb three first round picks and a defensive starter. And that sounds about right to me. And I'm sure you'll probably still have to throw in some more, you know, here's a third and a fourth round pick for the next year or so. You know, I'm not a GM, I'm not in Washington, I'm not in 
Houston. I, I'm not in the front office able to crunch the numbers down to the nth degree of what Deshaun should cost. I'm just giving my broad opinion from what I believe. You know, I think even those front offices are struggling to find the exact value what each one is looking for. That's just my opinion, though. A QB for Houston to play around with, whether they want it to be Fitz to be the starter, but I think they like Tyrod Taylor. I don't think they're so worried about that. They're worried about, can we get some picks and can we get some defensive starters that can really help out this team? And a big man like Jonathan Allen, again, you don't want to lose him, but it saves you some money that you could put towards paying for Deshaun. It's a win-win situation, in my opinion, because they're going to have to pay him one way or another if they keep him. I don't know. I'm not saying Washington needs to do this or should to do this. I'm just saying, theoretically, if I was to put a trade together, that's what it would be around. And you just can't tell me, even if you give away Jonathan Allen, like I said, that hurts, or De'Ron Payne, that hurts. Even if you give away whoever you want to say, a Landon Collins, a Bobby McCain, that hurts. But all of a sudden, you throw Deshaun on this offense, and you still got your main guys, Chase Young, Montez Sweat, William Jackson, uh, Cameron Curl, Jamin Davis. With Deshaun, that's an easy win through the NFC East. Yeah, the Cowboys might split a game with you just because their offense is strong with Amari Cooper, C.B. Lamb, Zeke, and Dak. But that's an easy, easy win, in my opinion, for the NFC East. And you go to all of a sudden Super Bowl aspirations. You're telling me that's not worth it? Losing a defensive player that hurt at the time to lose? But at the end of the day, if you get a Super Bowl ring, you're never going to think about losing that player again in that trade. So that, to me, being aggressive can pay out. Washington, I think, is content with Fitz, and they're happy with Fitz, and they just want to see what they got this year, how the defense is going to be, how the new players are going to be, yada, yada, yada. But I want a Super Bowl. I think that's what everyone wants, and I think they should be aggressive. I know that's kind of stepping out of their comfort zone, and it's stepping out of everyone's comfort zone, but aggressiveness works. I've made this comparison not time and time again. Look at what the Chiefs did. Year after year, they were making the playoffs with Alex Smith, going 11-5, 10-6, made the playoffs. They said that's not enough. We want to ring... They went out there, traded up, made a franchise-altering decision to let Alex Smith go, draft Patrick Mahomes, and it paid off immediately. They already have a Super Bowl MVP quarterback. Some people say Mahomes is the next go. The Bucs, they took a risk on draft or signing Brady. Yes, he's the GOAT, so this is a rare occasion, kind of an outlier comparison, but he's still a 42, 43-year-old quarterback that people didn't know if he will have the same whip on the ball that he used to, yet it resulted in a Super Bowl. They were aggressive. They took the risk. Washington, not saying you have to. But I would at least consider, at least call Houston and see what they're looking for. If you call them and they say, yeah, we want six first-round picks, Chase Young and Terry McLaurin, then we'll give Deshaun, hang up. You know, you don't, don't give up that much. But if they say our starting point's three first-round picks and we'll go from there in a player, I'm going to negotiate. I'm going to talk. I'm going to entertain the idea a little bit more. You guys tell me, though. You know, this is just my opinion. I love seeing your guys' takes. It possibly changed my mind. Maybe there's a player I'm not thinking of that would be the perfect cherry bait. Maybe there's just a, some small thing I'm just not thinking of that one of you guys can mention and sway me one way or the other. So like I said, comment down below. You all for it? All against it? Kind of in the middle like me or it just depends on the price. I want to hear your guys' opinions and takes. I'm open-minded to change my mind or sway my mind one way or the other. So let me know. And if I'm back to the question today, what I think Deshaun is worth for trade value. I've kind of already said it, but right around... Three first-round picks, to me, is a starting point, and you're going to have to give us more. Three first-round picks, and at the bare minimum, a starting or two players. Like I said, guys, I truly appreciate it, though. Thank you for watching. I say it every video, but I do truly, truly mean it. Thank you for watching. As always, and of course, two-minute warning.